Well, sometimes I go out by myself <clears throat> and I look across the water. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. Today I'm doing a stage makeup sort of get ready with me. This has been my stage makeup look for Shrek the Musical, which I've been playing Mama Bear in. And it's quite thick, it's quite heavy, but this is stage makeup and this is what I've been doing and getting away with because obviously the lights of the stage are quite harsh and you can't really um, just go on with natural makeup. But I'm more than happy to do a natural sort of get ready with me or any natural looks or I really want to do a dedicated makeup video because this isn't really that. It's sort of just telling you what I've been doing and maybe some little updates here and there. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I've got a few little tricks in here as to what I've been doing to make my makeup last. And also because I've been wearing a mask, it sort of rips it off. So what I've been doing for um, the makeup to stay on and not rip off with the mask. I've been trying my very best. It's been very hard, but you know, what can you do? Um, there's only so much your face can get rubbed on when you have makeup and then it'll come off. So yeah, ignore the stage I'm about to be in in like three seconds. <laughs> three, two, one. I'm using some of these like techniques that I have learnt from YouTubers just like in terms of like lasting power and not creasing and stuff so I've only put moisturizer on my face and I'm gonna start out with my eyes and because this is a get ready with me I'm not going to zoom you up because I want to talk to you and I don't want you to just be looking at my eyes and then my mouth's moving but yeah you get what I mean okay so I'm just starting out with some of the RCMA No Colour Powder. I'm going to just be dusting a little bit of this over my eyelid just to get rid of any moisturizer, not moisturizer, um, oil. And then I'm just going to go in with a bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot, Pro Longwear Paint Pot on my finger and prime my eyelids. This is the first time I've sat down and filmed for a while, so getting back into it, you know. Yeah, obviously I've been really busy with Shrek and stuff, and I haven't had time, but oh, it's over tonight. So tonight's closing night. I'm actually probably vlogging, so that might be coming as well soon. You know, I've been planning things, I just haven't been able to put them in action because of Shrek. It's been a really great experience and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, and then once that's sort of all even over my eyelid, I pull some weird faces when I do my makeup. So, you know, don't we all though? Okay, and then I'm just gonna set that with a bit more of the RCMA powder. I sort of go ham on this part because who wants your makeup to crease? No one, no one wants their makeup to crease. Yeah, this is like a theater makeup thing. Well, this is my interpretation of what theatre makeup is. Um, I haven't done much research on it, but this is what I've been doing and I think I've been getting away with it. I know this, the girls have sort of similar to me, so, you know, that's all good. Okay, now that we're all primed, um, it's so weird. I feel like I'm so close to the camera, but I'm, like, far away. So now that we're all primed, I'm... I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just going to take this on, like, a little Real Techniques blending brush I guess. I don't know. I always use this one in my crease but and I really need to wash my brushes. Sorry guys. Okay so I'm taking hazelnut. I'm not really being light handed with this because it does have to be quite dark because as I said it is theatre. So I'm just sort of taking that as my transition shade. I hope everyone had a good Australia day though. I know. Well I did but like at the same time. So my older brother had some people over which was nice and sort of had lunch, barbecue you know, typical Australian thing to do. Oh, that looks very... So weird how, like, the camera picks up different... Like, to me, it doesn't really look like I've got that much on, but according to the camera, I do. And then on the same brush, I'm going to go in with milk chocolate and darken it up a bit. It's weird. I've, like, put a dent in it. I love these eyeshadows. They're so, like, easy to blend. And Basically, this is similar to, like, my everyday eyeshadow sort of look. It would just obviously be a lot more toned down and a bit more defined rather than just, like, a whole heap of brown. I'd have a bit more of a gradient going on, but because it's theatre and it's, um drowned out by the lights and you have to have a bit more definition and be shown like it needs to stand out I'm going a bit more heavy-handed and then on this brush which is literally like my favorite brush apart from that one I used for the RCMA, RCMA powder it's the models prefer 120 crease brush I'm just gonna sort of 
try and diffuse a bit of that color up near my brow bone with the hazelnut color again. On this little savvy brush, I'm going in with Holt, what no, semi-sweet. I thought it was a Holt chocolate, no. It's semi-sweet. Okay, I'm just darkening, darkening it up again. Yeah, sort of on the outer portion of my eye. Are you guys enjoying my videos? Like, I really want to know. I'm trying my best to put a lot of time and effort into them, and I do have some things planned which I'm excited to film. And because I have my own camera, it's a bit easier. It's just a bit annoying because, like, in terms of, like, vlogs and stuff, I can't really vlog how I would like to because this camera is, like, a Canon camera, and it's quite big and bulky, you know, like, you've got to attach the lens and... The mic I, I mean, the microphone I wouldn't worry about so much if I was using it to vlog, but it's just annoying. So for vlogging, I've been trying to borrow my mum's camera. She doesn't want me doing that too much, but like, it's just like a little um, digital one. It's what I used to film my videos on before I got this camera. So now that's like fairly dark, I'll just go into my lid shade on another one of these Real Techniques brushes. I'm just using white chocolate. And now, on this sort of like pointed dome brush, definer brush thing, I don't know what it is, um, I'm going to use triple fudge to darken up the outer portion and crease even more. Blend, blended, blend. Just blend that out. I don't know why, I don't know if it's because my eyes are different shapes, but I feel like one eye always looks like slightly different to the other one. I'm not doing too bad today, but... Okay, that's looking not too bad if you ask me. Give you a little look-see. It doesn't look that blended, but I'm telling you it is. And okay, if you haven't noticed, I'm a naturally... Oh my god. I'm a naturally very red person. My face is just red. My skin is red. I'm known as a tomato. My back is red at the moment because I'm very badly sunburnt. It's just annoying because I always have... What is it called? Rosacea. Yeah, that's what I've got. Okay, now for my favourite <laughs> part, I'm going to do some liquid eyeliner with the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and do my eyeliner and then come back because I need something to rest my elbow on and I can't just have like my elbow like dangling. It's hard. Okay, cool. See you guys in a sec. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Now we're going to go in with some mascara. I've been using this, I think I talked about it, the Essence Lash Princess one. I think I've talked about it before. And I will be putting on fake lashes today. You can see already how much my match has opened up my eye. I'm doing the 12 week challenge with my gym, which is good life. And basically for 12 weeks, you get workouts, boot camp, you, well you go to boot camps. Um, you have consultations with trainers and obviously I already have a trainer and my trainer recently just became the fitness director of my club so she's like bomb and I'll be seeing a lot of her for the next well it starts February 10th and then well obviously from 12 weeks from there I'll be seeing a lot more of her um, I'm now gonna put on some eyelashes so this is the duo eyelash adhesive in the clear one they're the model rock smoky smoky velvet lashes just if you wanted to know I'm fairly sure they're like double stacked lashes I'm actually getting better at putting lashes on though because I've had to do my makeup so much recently I've had to put lashes on and obviously the more you do things the better you get at them because practice makes perfect right One is on. Oh. Okay. We have two lashes up. Okay, so for primer, I have been using... So Nakia Joy, I think that's her name. She does this thing where she uses a eyeshadow primer underneath her foundation and you lightly powder over it. I know powder and cream products don't usually go together, but it doesn't look too bad, but... um. She said that this helps with like your foundation rubbing off and obviously because I'm using, um, I'm wearing a mask in the show, I don't want my foundation to rub off. So I've been trying this but I don't actually know if it's been doing anything like different to what primer would be doing because like normal primer because um, I haven't tried primer, I've only been doing this. So this is what I'm going to do today. You don't have to do this, you can just normally prime if you're doing... Like, so if you're following this, I don't know, will anyone be following this?
go in with a very light layer of powder. So pretty much I'm going to dunk my brush in the RCMA powder, tap off most of it so there's only like a small amount on there like that. Lightly dust this over just to sort of set it in place. I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, I'm doing that because, as I've learned from I think Wayne Goss, um, obviously that stuff's made to keep your makeup on. So if you spray, like if you have it, like if you sort of layer it, the effect should be heightened, so it should keep your makeup on longer. But yeah, and then also takes away the powderiness of the powder, so hopefully it won't look cakey. I'm just going to go wet my sponge and then I'll be right back and we will do foundation. So I'm using my favourite foundation, which is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation in the shade 11 Vanilla, which is the lightest shade. Um, I'm using this with my Real Technique sponge and um, I put it on the back of my hand because it warms the product up a little bit and therefore it sinks better into the skin. If you're still watching at this point, I want you to comment below and tell me what is your favourite video of mine? What have you enjoyed the most watching? What do you want to see more of? Just let me know. Comment below. And I realise this looks super duper cakey at the moment. Like if I wasn't doing stage makeup, I wouldn't go this heavy handed. Alright, and now I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. In terms of this primer trick, I definitely, like, if you are dry skinned, I would not. In general, if you want your makeup to, like, be thick as hell, the primer trick's good, but, like, I definitely, um, would stay away from it. And especially if you have dry skin, because it does make you quite cakey, and, like, for me, I'm, I have oily skin, so the oil will sort of like help take away the cakiness. I don't know, I feel like it does. I feel like the oil obviously makes your skin look dewy until you get like really oily. I really need to see this. I'm holding this up, which is an eyeshadow palette, and it's just annoying. I need like a mirror. I will invest in one. I'll get one from Kmart. Kmart's the place to be. I'm going to set my eyes, so I'm just going to dab out the creases under my eyes before I go in and set them with the RCMA powder again. Okay, a little bit down the nose, just where I put the concealer I just like to set before I set my whole face. And today I'm going to be setting my whole face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the transparent shade. Okay, now that that's all done, let's go on to bronzer. So I've been using the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Now we're going in with some contour. I am using the NYX Definition, High Definition Blush in the shade Taupe. Just blending upwards under my cheekbone. Okay, and I also like to take this on a sort of little eyeshadow brush and put it down the sides of my nose, just a little bit of nose contour. Okay, and now we're going in with some blush. I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Look at my nose. Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And again, going in quite heavy handed with the blush. Theatre people seem to be all about blush, so, you know, that means I am too. I might just do this off camera, I'll just let you know what I do. So at the moment, I was really into pencil brows, like using um, eyebrow, pencil, eyebrow pencil or pomade, but, or pomade as some people say, but I've actually been using eyeshadow as um, brow powder, so I've been using this one from this Sephora palette, I have no idea what it's called, but it just looks like this. I've been using this shade up here for my eyebrows and yeah just filling them in with that so I'm gonna go and do that just with a little angled brush and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I just filled in my eyebrows. I think they're looking pretty good today. I'm having a good brow day. And now I'm gonna go in and do my lash line, um, just like underneath my lash line. So I'm just gonna take one of those blending brushes we used before, go in with salted caramel just below the lash line. I'm going with semi sweet and just to darken up right near the lashes. I'm gonna line my waterline with the Inglot Black Gel Liner. Now, I didn't think I could put gel liner in my waterline, but it actually works really, really well. And I feel like it's easier than a pencil, like it just doesn't, it comes out a lot blacker. My eyes always water when I do this. I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes now. I'm going to do this a bit weirdly. I've been using this L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara or whatever, but I don't like it. Some, like, for a while people on YouTube raved about it, but it's just, it's like, I've had this for ages and it's so, like, wet. Sorry, my head's like all the way down here. <laughs> to sort of use it up, I sort of go in with it first and then I fan the product out with, like, one of my older... Covergirl mascaras, the clump crusher one, because the brush I think does a better job. I always make a bit of a mess when I do my lower lash line, but don't worry, it's an easy fix. I saw some girl doing her mascara the other day and she like went to wipe like a dot away when she got it on her face, straight away. Um, and I was like, oh my god, but what you should do, let it dry and then get a Q-tip or something and um, Usually it will just flake off. I'm just gonna put some um, baby lips lip balm on because it sort of tints your lips and it's hydrating and I like it. So okay, now I'm going to spray my face with some Fix Plus and then highlight using Mac Soft and Gentle. It's my favorite highlighter, as you would know if you have been watching my channel. So the first thing I like to do is highlight my brow bone while my face is still wet. Right, I'm a bit on my cupid spoke. After I do highlight, I usually like to set my brows because sometimes you can get the highlight powder in your eyebrow hairs and that's not a good look. So that's my um, stage makeup sort of routine that I've been doing for Shrek. I hope you liked this video. It was sort of more just, you know, I could just ease myself into doing a makeup video and also get ready and go to Shrek. And I thought, you know, I could film that for you. My hair is doing all sorts at the moment. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate everything. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks for me in terms of these makeup videos or anything you'd like to see. Um, don't forget to leave comments below, everything like that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, please leave. And yeah, I'll see you very soon in my next video, which I think will be a vlog. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.